I don't know how many have seen the show, but there's a member called I've Decided to Marry You. And, uh, oh, it's a few members of one fan club. Could you do that again, please? Exactly. <laughs> Well, so for those who've seen it, um, it's staged and choreographed within an inch of its life. But the truth is, for a few years, it would be done on a stage not unlike this, or say here, the Lori Beachman or something, and with just three actors and three music stands, or sometimes just two, actually, usually two actors and Steve at the piano, with the woman in the middle, with no staging whatsoever, and it always went over like gangbusters. That's so nice to know that it doesn't rely on the amazing staging. Yeah, I mean, God, I love the staging. Don't yeah, get me wrong. But that's not but, why the number works so well. It just adds the logistics to it. Yeah, because you, your imagination puts the doorways there for you. You, you're, you fill it in. Well, I remember, actually, that moment came out of... Do you remember this, Robert? You know, we were originally based on... You know, we are based on a novel that the movie Kind Hearts and Car Carnets is also based on. Um, at the beginning, when we first began writing it, we did in fact have the rights to Kind Hearts and Carnets. And I remember we watched the movie together, and I remember Robert gave me kind of, if you forgive me, a lecture, and said, you know that much of your favorite stuff in the movie is not going to be in the show, because it's a different form, it's going to have to take a different shape. And I remember the day you turned to me, do you know what I'm going to say? And, and, and said, because um, in the movie, um, the woman who's, who says I've decided to marry you comes to, comes to our murderer's home, basically says, I've decided to marry you. He says, that's wonderful, but you should go because of propriety. And he gets rid of her, and then his mistress arrives. They, they pass each other on the stairs, but yes. they, don't, they don't know each other, so they don't think anything of it. And then Sibella comes in, and I remember the day that Robert said, we should get them both in the apartment at the same time. And I remember thinking, oh, that's so smart, and I never would have thought of that. That's my pants. <laughs> I don't want to highlight to the show.